So we're at Y15, page 3. We're looking at the sounds a, uh, u, u, and u. All right, before you start writing down all these words three times, make sure your name, number, and the due date tomorrow is on the top of this page. Now, say this word with me. Moon. Moon. Oh, are you saying it with me? I didn't hear you. Moon. A moon, read the definition with me, is a large rock that orbits the... Have, we all know that the moon goes around the earth. In the... At night. So it goes around the earth... In the sky. It looks like it's in the sky to us, even though it's actually in outer space. So, you're going to write your sentence here about the moon. An astronaut first walked on the moon in the 1960s. I like to look at the moon through my telescope. Good. and then draw the picture if you need to pause the video pause the video whenever you need to this word flute usually the u says the long u sound u but today it says full ooh, ooh, the u sound so flute a flute is a this is a flute it is a long, skinny, silver musical instrument. It's an instrument. I-N-S-T-R-U-M-E-N-T. -E instrument. A flute is a long, skinny, silver instrument that a person plays on the we can see that this guy is playing the flute on the side of his face. So it is a long, skinny, silver instrument that a person plays on the side of their face. Now we can write a sentence about the flute. The man played a beautiful song on the flute. Here it is. Or perhaps it could say, There was a flute in the band. Yeah, it's possible. All right. The next word is spoon. Spoon. Ooh, ooh. Read it with me. A spoon has a handle with a scoop. Oops, I meant to make that a, a line. A scoop. A scoop means that it looks like this. Then you can put things into it. So it has a handle. There's the handle. And a scoop. At one end for food. And the food goes in here. It is used for... What do we use spoons for? Eating, of course. Spoon. My mom always makes me put a spoon, knife, and fork on the table. Spoon. Tooth. A bone inside of... Where is your tooth? It's inside of your mouth. It is used for um, nom nom nom. That's called chewing. So, when we write our sentence, I could write, when I lost my tooth, the tooth fairy game. I used the word tooth twice. And I can draw a picture of it. Okay, we are halfway done with this page. 
This word is rude. Rude means that someone is not polite. They are not using, if they're not polite, they're not kind, what are they not using? They're not using manners. Remember, when you're writing your sentence, make sure you're using the word rude. We do not want to use the word manners. You just need to know that you need to have manners so that you're not rude. So, my brother was rude to me when he called me names. Yes? Maybe it could be somebody else. My dad was rude to my dog and made him stay outside. Pause the video if you need to. Play it when you're ready for the next word. The next word is cute. Cute, cute. We know that acute means attractive, good looking. If you don't know what attractive means, write that down. So cute means that someone looks good, that they're adorable. Or if you say, oh, that girl or boy is so cute, you mean that they are pretty or handsome. Now pretty is a word that we use to describe women and girls. And handsome is a word that we use to describe boys. So make sure you know that. Now we're going to write a sentence with the word cute. Okay. The fluffy bunny was so cute, I wanted to pet it. Then draw your picture. Stuff. Stuff is a group of... If we just say stuff, we're talking about all those things over there. So it's a group of things. I'm sure you can think of lots of sentences for stuff. My mom always makes me pick up my stuff when it is all over my room. Draw your picture of your room. Or if it's a, if your sentence is about something else, draw a picture of that. Pause the video if you need to. Our last word is bruise. Bruise. All right, here is a close-up picture of a bruise. When you run into something, you bump into something, it might leave a bruise on your arm or your leg. If somebody hits you, you get a bruise. Okay, a black eye is also a bruise. A bruise, we're going to learn the sciency part of it, is a spot on, this is the skin. So a spot on the skin where blood vessels broke from force. So something hit the person right here and it broke all the blood vessels underneath their skin. And so there's blood underneath their skin. And that is why there is a bruise there. And that's why it hurts to touch because it's he trying to heal itself. So you can write about Aaron gave me a bruise when he hit me at recess. Or, I saw a guy get a black eye and it left a huge bruise. Anything. Make sure, now that we're done with this page, that all of your words are written three times. That you've draw drawn your pictures. That all of your words, your definitions are written in. And that all of your sentences are here. They should have a capital letter and punctuation and the word over here underlined. That's all for page three.